I see through you, 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 Hello Cerulean, hello, you with the little peaky peaks. I'm safe here, oh no, what happened? Rebirth stuff. So when you mean safe, do you mean safe from the game or safe from spoilers? Because those are very different things. Safe from the spoilers of Rebirth? Very well. Yeah, you'll be probably be safe for like ever because I doubt I'll catch up to you. It's okay, I'm rushing like every streamer that is playing the game. What does that even mean? Because you're not like 100%ing each zone? Not rushing, okay. Thank you for the lunges reel. I will say though, when it comes to my playthrough, I'm not sure how I want to approach it because I know that like the uh, the proto relics have really big story stuff, not not like mainline story, but like really good supporting story stuff to them. But the problem is, is the game's been out for a week and people are already getting a little comfortable with the way that they're phrasing some of their tweets and Reddit posts and stuff. And I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, people are people are losing the let's not spoil shit uh, energy real fast. Like while I've avoided details, I've heard some things about the ending and some things about some things and I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, pe people calm down. I definitely watched the ending within 10 minutes of it being really. Just my suggested Google news is getting bad. Mm-hmm, yep, uh-huh. Fans divided over Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, wh what word did I see? It was like fans are divided over Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So some sort of adjective ending. Convoluted or something like that. I don't remember what word they used. Anyway, greetings, salutations, everybody. My name is Michael Schwann. 
Today is Friday, March 8th, 2024. Last night, we finished the base game of Final Fantasy VII Remake and talked a bit about it. And today, we are going to replay through Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission, Episode Yuffie. Uh, the DLC that wasn't originally planned, but do we ever believe anything that video game companies say anymore? No, I don't. Um, boy, do I not believe them. Because, like, so example, Persona 3, re right? Persona 3 Reload came out at the beginning of February. And leading up to Persona 3 Reload's release... The devs were like, we're not doing any DLC. We haven't been approved for DLC. Uh, the game doesn't have the answer. Uh, we don't have plans to do the answer. Uh, that We don't intend to do anything extra with this game. We're just going to release it as it is uh, and move on. That, like It was literally like yesterday they announced DLC for Persona 3 Reload that it's called Episode Ages, The Answer. And it's all of that extra shit that they s swore wasn't going to be in the game. And it's like... Did you mean it wasn't going to be in the game like you weren't going to sell it as DLC? Or like, what? And then they're like, yeah, we're never going to do uh, a definitive edition. We're never going to do a version of Persona 3 Reload with the FEMC. It would just be too much work. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. It's like when people directly ask Nintendo, like, Nintendo, are you working on another system? And they're like, no. We're not working on another Switch or anything like that. We're not working on another console. The Switch is still doing great. It's like, everyone knows you're lying. Why? What is the purpose of your lie? We all know you're lying. All of us. We know that the PlayStation 6 is already like partway done. What are you talking about? What is the point of these just blatant lies I don't understand I swear I like looked for something about Dragon Quest 4 accidentally clicked news and it was like 10 things to do with this Dragon Quest 11 spoiler I accidentally spoiled myself of the main antagonist of Persona 4 Golden because there's a Persona 4 fighting game and I was going through the characters in the fighting game and I was like, oh, that character is in the game? That's interesting. And I clicked on their page and it was like, this character, the main antagonist of Persona 4. I was like, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> because part of Persona 4 is like a murder mystery, right? Like you're not sure who's killing people, who's throwing people into TVs and murdering them and shit, right? And I was like, I don't know, it could be this person, it could be this person. And then I was just reading about the fucking fighting game. And they're like, yeah, blah, 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 the main antagonist and primary. And I'm like, oh, well, fuck, shit. Mind you, we discovered who it was like one or two streams after I accidentally spoiled myself. But I was still disappointed. Um, I think Arena and Ultimax are the same thing. But there was Persona 4 Arena and then Arena Ultimax, which was the sequel to Arena. And it is... Not, if my memory serves correctly, Ultimax is not simply a definitive edition of Arena. There is story stuff in Arena that is not in Arena Ultimax because Arena Ultimax has its own story, which is a sequel to the story of Arena, if I remember right. Like, you're technically supposed to buy and play both, which is dumb. Anyway, we're not here to talk about, speaking of RPG... RPGs, Yakuza's music is playing right now. That's an RPG that I don't know when I'll ever get to. Fuck. All right. But let's waste no time. Let's go hang out with Yuffie for a while. And Sonon. Okay, um... No. We need... Because I think this one actually, you even like keep some of your... Yeah, this is like New Game Plus, which we don't need to do. So, system... Idle screen. Let's 
Lin Lin playing Yakuza 5 for three fucking months. I, that's about what I'm expecting to be putting into Persona, uh, Persona, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Even with me planning on taking like extra time off, I'm expecting, let's see, how long do I think Rebirth is gonna take? I'm expecting it to take around a hundred hours, four or five hours per stream means that it'll take 20 to 25 streams which means that if i get two a week it'll take 10 weeks if i get three a week it'll take like six weeks five weeks but that's if it only takes 100 hours I'm I'm banking on it taking two to three months for us to get through rebirth in all reality, but that's fine. The, oh God, no, it's not fine. Fucking Stellar Blade comes out next month. Shit. What's on the bottom of this? Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. gets attacked by a flock of pigeons. Area hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche! With your full support, we got this! Members of Avalanche? Where are you? Come get me already! Uh... I still contest that the size of Materia okay. makes it. God damn it, Cerulean. <laughs> She's practicing her introduction, real. Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? You got some nerve. <laughs> She's young and nervous and has to practice. You've never practiced like what you were gonna say to like somebody in a mirror or anything before? You never like ran it over a few times in your head about how you were gonna say something, how you're gonna tell your boss to go fuck himself. Nothing like that. If you can fight effectively up close, press square to strike with a throwing star, press circle to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. <laughs> Guarding to spawn enemy lands will reduce the damage if he takes. Also, we all know video game characters secretly are aware they're in a game and need to break the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Always. Pressing Y, she can hurl her weapon at a target. Pressing square wall to away from her. Perform long range ninjutsu attacks. Uh, we'll return after a specific point. Press triangle to retrieve it sooner. Oh, god damn it. Fuck off! 
Ew. Ah, lol. Well, that was easy. And my search for the elusive Moogle continues. Pressing triangle, she's able to destroy a box from a distance. What about those other boxes? How the fuck am I supposed to get to those? Throw it from here. Oh, sure can. I will say though, the size of materia still just doesn't quite fully make sense. The material that Yuffie was swinging around, right? That they're they're huge, and then like the material was weirdly large in OG. I'm not I'm not saying that like they're incorrectly sized here, but then like you look at the size of the material in the weapon, right? And it's like this big instead of this big, and it's like does it fucking shrink? We've never the closest we've seen to seeing someone put materia in anything is in Final Fantasy 7 Advent Children when the fucking uh uh they're not called twins when the triplets fucking like shove it in their arm and shit right but we never see him put it in a weapon we're like how the fuck do you get that in there Advent Children is stupid though that's not that's not the point that doesn't count. <laughs> the point still stands. Marco, what are you doing here? No palm. You okay? Anybody home? <sighs> Yuffie, that guy has huge creeper energy. Leave him alone. Oh, well, guess I'm not going anywhere until I get that elevator moving. You can hit things at distance. Thank you. Don't bring Advent Children into conversations about logic. Well, I mean, it's not like the original conversation about logic was going anywhere either. We're talking about how little sense materia make in terms of the way that they're able to just like fucking fit oh, into right. weapons. Cause like, uh, look at that. So there's UV's hand, which she was just holding a materia that was like this big. And then next to her hand is three materia that are the size of like ping pong balls. What is happening? How this plays out. Get off. You're gonna get what's coming to you. And our heroine triumphs again. One day I'll make sense of Advent Children. What do you feel about Advent Children doesn't make sense? Genuinely asking. Like, what, what do you feel about that game doesn't, that game, that movie doesn't make sense? 
Maybe they squeeze it really hard. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's it. Maybe materia, despite being, you know, described as as crystals and being like clinking sounding rocks, maybe they're actually able to just be squeezed. Maybe that's the reality that we're not aware of. Made more sense watching Advent Children the second time around when there was a complete version with more scenes. True. It's also just a much better movie. And they put the blood back in it. Mmm, shiny. What is it? Do we have any materia by the size of the ones that are just in? Yeah, we have we have lots actually. Okay. They gave us a max subversion materia and a max synergy materia. Well, synergy comes max, but a max subversion is interesting. Um and these are all at rank 2. Fire is like the least useful of the spells. We'll grab lightning. Final Fantasy V sequel movie is still the best Final Fantasy movie. They got it right-ish the first time. Was that earlier than the Mystic Quest show? I have played through Intermission once, Cerulean, uh, but it was back when it first came out, back in June of 2021. Kind of so we're luck. creeping up on three years since I played through it the first time. The modern world. Talk about false advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. And while I remember a decent amount of the story beats from it, I, I definitely didn't remember details of like, what did they give us when we started this type shit? I was like, I don't fucking remember. You think I'm thinking of the Fallen Fantasy? I mean, I might be. Oh no, it's the one that's on YouTube. Never fear, Yuffie's here. Trick. Come on down. Can't do it from here. Oh, I missed the ladder. Have you ever seen Fallen Fantasy Unlimited? I don't think so. Yeah, now to save the day. It's really bad, so you're saying I shouldn't watch it. Have no fear. You be here. Oh god, that can't be Harry. Fuck. hurt so much.
Not even a thank you? Goofy has clearly never seen somebody who is just like inebriated. I don't even know how to describe it. You can just see the budget decrease with each episode. Okay. Oh, I was like, what was the point of coming up here? To get a wind materia. No Sailor Moon had the canned animations for transformations and special attacks. I do. I watched them many a times. Is that a different guy? Oh, the same dude. All right, they're different guys. All right. Make them like two minutes long and have them happen two or three times for a 22 minute episode and you have Final Fantasy Unlimited. Perfect. This is too weird. <laughs> okay, you got this. I, re I always remember thinking Yuffie's arm thing in the original I always remember thinking that it was a like a hard shell carapace like thing like it was solid and not just like a thick cloth that can be bent huh okay that rotten neck smell's gone must have gotten used to it <laughs> way things are going I'll be working for Shinra next nice try Midgar Especially because in the original game, she would do this this move where she'd go like this over and over again really fast with her arm. And her arm always stayed perfectly straight when she did it. So I just assumed she couldn't bend her arm. What material was that? MP up. It just looks stiff. Yeah, yeah. Is there any other loops? Mm, no, okay. Monster troubles or don't worry about it. Monsters have been acting certain. Not gonna be good for any of us if Wu Tai's got their claws in there. Local reactor five has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our first city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation. But we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche. Not bad. Not bad at all. But I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. What? There's our palm. So oh, you're Avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. What? Wait up! 
playing through this intermission episode a few days ago for the first time, like what it had to offer. I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from, think of it as a code name. Uh-huh. Mm, still can't shiny. believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? So why well, they here we are. Ladies well, first. From the news, they didn't get caught. They'll turn up. And when they do, we're gonna treat them to a feast. I can almost taste your pizza now, Jesse. Shame, since you won't be getting any. What? <laughs> Hi, you three. Although, you know, it's interesting. Uh, someone who has no idea what anything is in Rebirth, right? So we know that Big survived. We believe that Jesse did not because her headband and her glove were sitting on the dresser next to where Biggs was recovering. And Wedge had initially survived, but it definitely seemed and sounded like the whispers threw him off of like the 59th floor. We didn't see him fall or see him die but we heard, saw them drag him towards the glass and the glass break and the sound of glass breaking but we don't actually know what happened to wedge uh towards the end of remake hmm Box. Thank you. Thank you for the stuff. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nayo. Hi. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. Uh. But I'm really hungry. But I did bring these. Wu Tai's famous da chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> ah. Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. Dream, please. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? I don't know if you can hear me. Is everything okay? Sometimes pauses. Okay. I'm gonna be one of those kind of nights, huh? Uh, the bitrate could be better. Hang on. You can hear me, though. Okay, well, that's a bonus, I guess.
question is, is it a computer thing or a modem thing or a what thing? Hmm. That's a good question, ain't it? Okay. Well, you know, the easiest thing that we found to, to fix this, it's been that way the past few streams as well, but you work with what you got. Past few my streams? Really? Like really bad or just like every now and again well here's what we can do i'm gonna pause the game right where it is and i will just reset everything because that seems to be the easiest way to um, to fix this, is to just literally reset everything. So I will be right back. How are we looking? Okay. Well, we reset everything. And by reset everything, I just mean the computer and the modem. I guess we'll see what happens. Pause that. Go like this. Bring this back out. Hello, hello. Are we are we are we live? Is all our shit broken? I need to actually fire the stream deck back up. We are live. Alright, well, let's see if it stays that way. Let's see if it survives no well, let's hope it stays stable and smooth all right you look kind of nervous i just want to make sure i have the plan down pat you know like how to get up top and all that <sighs> well if you had an id you'd normally just take the train up there but with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now. Be my guest then. Go get killed. Uh, Damn, Polk. Harsh. Yeah. If you haven't introduced yourself to Billy Bob, you should. He's got some intel you might want to hear. Okay. <sighs> my teeth. You're welcome. So the material <laughs> I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? 
And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra Building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? As for what to do once you make it into the building, ask Nayo. She'll give you the deets. Hey, Billy Bob Thornton exists. Don't try to say that he doesn't. You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So, Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> that's his real ass name too? That's not like a an actor name or a stage you name? He's actually named Billy Bob precious. Thornton? I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Nayo, your your shirt is an interesting one. This 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 is making some choices. Is it that way in the back too? It's that way in the back too. Huh. Alright. One second stutter happened, then it continued like normal. Hmm. Alright. Boomerang! Oh, it's a mage weapon? Oh, what is our ability? Uh, elemental ninjutsu. Select an element to enhance and use. Exploit an enemy's weakness. Okay, I need to make sure that I actually do that. Hey, you gonna be okay out there? Got all the info you need? Who, who, wait, who else am I supposed to fucking talk to? Uh, you? You look about ready to die of boredom. Oh. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort... Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit then. Let me go over them. A beginner's guide to Fort Condor. Board game where you employ units and material to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. You can select what board to use, which will determine the number of ATP charges and materia available to you, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units and board your opponent plans to use and adjust accordingly. Opponent's board and unit loadout is played on the right. Each unit has a weakness and can be exploited for massive damage. Therefore, keep in mind which units your opponent is using when selecting yours. You can't edit your boards at the moment, so press X to start. I like how we are forced into Fort Condor. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I don't actually intend on playing any Fort Condor. The game begins, but you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters, and two outposts. When the match, you must destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. Move the cursor to the spot, press X. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, all right. Here I allow you to use powerful spells. Press uh, L1, select a location. All right.
Oh, I fucking missed that horribly. Good job, me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I like how Fort Condor isn't a place. Um, I don't know about Rebirth. I mean, obviously it's not here, but I don't know what the situation around that is in Rebirth. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? Totally. Enemy Nexus ass. destroyed. Yeah, it's basically just you Clash of Clans. Didn't lose on purpose. Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on. Yeah, no comment on Fort Condor and Rebirth. Very well. Uh, Yuffie? Might want to wait for some... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking let me leave! You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Want to try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Someone's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see, and drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time. <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper. And he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him. Man deserves some Dachau beans. Ugh. All this talking is giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Oh, thank God. Let me leave. Let me go. Free me! Hello? You ever heard of that? Uh, hey, do you remember the last time we went up for drinks? <laughs> oh, the joy and cheer that away at the happy turtle. Ho oh, ho, greetings, Softshell. So, how many of those flyers did you find? What? It's a fun callback. Ahem. Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one of a kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? Nope. Well then, allow me to explain. The Happy Turtle's running a contest. And the rules are simple. All you have to do is collect six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself Good a evening. prize sure to delight even the dourest Diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Wutayan, especially since the bombings. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. 
Bummer. <sighs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a handful of flyers, you could be the first, and at this rate, the only winner of the most testudinarious contest in Midgar's history. This here is a sample of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Yeah. Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned, no pond unplumbed. That prize is as good as mine. Ah, since you're here, you wouldn't happen to have any Condor coins on you, would you? This job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. He said, don't leave any pond unplunged, and that's just like, not okay. So we had a five minute, a seven and a seven and a quarter minute, a 15 minute. All right. We'll see what keeps happening. Thank you for logging those, Cerulean. Uh, yeah, Zach, it's wallpaper engine, like Cerulean said. And yeah, Cerulean, I mean, the the, the quest for finding all of the um, Happy Turtle Flyers in the original game was really easily missable. detected. Performing physical analysis. She seemed relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh, you want to tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with the summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well, then. <laughs> Very well then. Ch Chadley just just low key mocked the shit out of fucking Yuffie. Uh, we can wait to fight Ramu until we have Sonon, I believe, and that's probably when a good idea. you prepared, please let me know. Sonon's gotta be back by now. I'm coming for you, Flyer. Wait. Is that the song of the turtle I hear? What are we doing? Oh god, that dog is fucking horrifying. Don't let the dog notice you. Go to sleep. Fair. What was I supposed to do? No, I'm good. Attention! For three gil, you can play Fort Condor against the lovely Kyrie. Hi, Kyrie. It's good to see you. Well, now that's quite the get-up you're sporting there. What you got in here? A bunch of materia that I basically can't afford. <laughs> Nobody found the Shinra HQ flyer without a guide. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Johnny. remember everything you got anymore if you got all the flyers I'm back ah there you are someone's been expecting you what took you sorry about that 
What? Just thinking how you're nothing like your old man. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonan Kusakabe. I was lucky enough to learn how to fight from good- Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. Let's talk about something else. Like how you've adjusted to life here. Indulging in adult pastimes. Which I guess means drinking yourself stupid. <laughs> Last thing I need is my partner stinking like an over-the-hill has-been. Speaking of drinking, you been to the Happy Turtle? If you're part of Operation Down in One, I take it back. I am there next time you go. Don't worry, I can do adult stuff just fine. Well, I don't even know where to begin with all of that. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna leave but all I that do alone. Know I haven't heard of Operation Down in One. At any rate, I'm looking forward to working with you, boss. Boss? As in me? Well, I've got a few years on you, I admit. But out of us two, you've done this longer. I... I guess I have. Boss, huh? I could get used to that. Beats being stuck on the bottom rung, that's for sure. <laughs> it's Square Enix, real. Maybe Calm down. Your promotion at the Happy Turtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid bird. It says the merchandise is good to go. Handoff's at a depot and municipal storage. Okay. Yuffie, Sonan, you mind coming along? Not at all. Need to scope out the city anyway. Really get to know the enemy. We'll be passing through a rough part of town, so you'll want to go prepared. I'll leave you to get ready. Hit me up outside when you're done, okay? Be right there. Hey, Sonan. Welcome. Sniffers? Yeah, she did just, like, sniff his, like, rear end. Like, you been drinking? All right, material and equipment. What the fuck? You just got four purple materia, dude? <laughs> the fuck are you doing with this shit? What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's adjust your materia a little bit. Uh, you don't need this. Just flat out. Uh, I guess you could keep that. You don't need first strike for sure. Let's give you this wind materia. You know what? I don't actually... Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you can keep it. Uh, and take this synergy materia. And yeah, all right. Good enough. There's a lack of pronouns. Yeah, most people just refer to everyone by their name. Battle with a virtual summon. Cannot control zone on in combat. Instead, issue commands to him using R2. Pressing L2 will have him synergize with Yuffie, and you'll team up with her to perform attacks in tandem. Try pressing L2 to synergize your team. Oh, I didn't even realize that that was like a... Uh... Uh, make enemies susceptible to stagger, effective against pressurized foes. If they have ATB charges available, they can perform synergize versions of their abilities. Fills it more slowly when he's synergized. Okay. Get your butt over here. You Ow! Oh my god. Oh! Oh! That was a good start. Oh, and we don't have any uh we don't have any Phoenix down. Week to win. That's fine. We just lost. It's not a big deal. Noted. Maybe pop over to the store and buy a couple of Phoenix Downs, and then come back. And shame. It was a close match. And kick Ramu's ass. However, I did manage to obtain some invaluable data. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. Thanks, Chadley. Excuse me. Pardon me. You guys are all fucking in the way. Is it true what they're saying? Someone's 
There's also an item that we need to get to. It's a blue materia. It's through here, I think. UV others don't even refer to themselves with I. They just go directly into verbs like it's Spanish. <laughs> Except for Cloud. But with Cloud, it, he he does use the word I, but he can't finish a sentence if he starts it with the word if he starts the word the sentence with the word I, he's not able to finish the sentence. It's always like I I thought Well I I was just he can't actually finish the sentence. Looking for anything in particular? Uh, yeah. Some fucking Phoenix Downs, dog. Thanks. Can I assume you're ready to do battle with the virtual... Yeah, sure. I'm ready to get my shit rocked again. That was me trying to skip it. Ramu! You dumb shit. Okay, good job. You did it again. I'm so proud of you. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. What? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You stupid bitch. Come on now. Up and at him. Time to get started. Hey, take that. Gotcha. What are you doing? Oh. Hey, that's not funny. <laughs> Sonon. Fucking why? I have auto cure that I won't use on myself because I'm too fucking stupid. Fuck you, Robo! Sure glad I bought all these Phoenix Downs. They're really proven useful, you know? Just just eating them like goddamn candy. Since you won't heal yourself! Ready? I'm on it. We're dead. Or at least fucking Sonon is again. Oh, 
Oh god. Fuck me. Hey, don't do that. Hey, Sonon, get up. Come on now. Up and at him. <laughs> He's already down again. This is going so good. What are you waiting for? 4 HP in a dream. Oh! Can you politely fuck? Right off. Uh -huh. No sleeping on the job. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Ow. 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 Oh my God, he cured himself. I don't fucking believe it. Oh, this is the last of my cures. I'm out of fucking MP after this. No, not that. Oh, we're just both dead now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I always find the, the targeting in this game to be difficult no matter what, Cerulean. Uh, because, like, even with a lock-on, it doesn't... I don't find it very convenient to change targets. Like, I feel like it's really janky at changing targets. Even when you have a target locked on. I need to sit on this bench. It's alright. Just gotta do better next time. We just gotta get Ramu before we go, you know, beat the game. You're ready to do battle with a yeah, 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 that's it. What are your abilities, buddy?
Doesn't even matter if I log on to a target. They're still dumb. That's not the one that was closest to me, but that's cool. Are you fucking joking me, bruv? Why are you so bad at this? Seriously? Oh god. I've got you. What? You're gonna make me do all the work? No sleeping on the job. Yeah, there you go. You're doing work now. Fuck off. Maybe I want to get hit once. Oh no! Let's uh, let's top off our HP. All right, the so Sonon's about to go down. He's gonna die right now. Just so, so we're clear. Oh. Don't on, get up. How about you pull yourself together? All right, now we're gonna come up here. Oh God. Fuck. Oh, he died oh, at the same did. time. Yeah! Oh. Son, why are you so bad? Shame. It was analyze and learn from your mistakes. Shut up, Chadley. I assume you're ready to do battle with the virtual summit. If I could have got that limit off, I think he would have died. But I ran up to do the limit, and he's like, "What if I just spun to one?" And I'm like, "Oh, well, that's that's unfortunate." Please no. Ow. Oh, okay. This is starting out real good. Already on the back foot. Cool. You know, I don't understand why I was just able to run away from those last time, but not not that time apparently. Okay. Cool. All right. That's something that I also feel uh, when we played through remake, if you get it onto your back your foot, like an early down or something like that, summit? it's really hard to recover. Like you don't have good tools or options or, or items or anything. Cause like even mega potions are like 1500 HP and they don't give you X potions. You get like two elixirs. Uh, and so if you get put onto the back foot, it's so hard to recover. Little. I'm just getting started. Get going down. I want this. 
I still don't understand why before I was able to just run to the side and not get hit by those, but not this time. Oh, that's good. Damn, okay. What I don't what am I fucking doing wrong all of a sudden? That I'm not able to just dodge those by running. Since backseating is allowed, what's up? Go ahead. Fuck off. Thank you. Hitting those target orbs prevents the judgment bolt. Yeah, I think you're right. The problem is, is that like they don't take much damage unless I physically run over and hit them. And half the time she doesn't seem to want to target them. Even if I have them locked on, it doesn't seem to want to happen. Where the fuck did he go? Oh. Oh. We're gonna do this to him. Oh God. See, here's the other thing is that if I'm locked on, I can't fucking see what he's doing. No. Okay. What a shame. You analyze and learn from your mistakes. So what a shame. Shut up, Chadley. Man, you even you even have the provoke materia and he is not paying attention to you at all. I also feel like Sonon basically doesn't use this auto cure as much as I wish he would. I feel like he doesn't use it. Ready to do battle with a virtual summon? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> doesn't work on strong enemies, I don't think. Then what's the point of it, honestly? Like you would only ever really want that against a stronger enemy. Damn, it's also really hard to time her perfect block. Fuck. tracked onto me that time okay that was cool like i thought i was in a good position to like dodge those and instead they just just completely chased me down motherfucker Be 
Big surprise. No sleeping on it. Ow. Oh, we gotta move. Fuck off with that shit! Sonon, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Um. Oh, there is a spark left. I was like, I thought I killed all the sparks, but oh, uh, we're dead. That cure did not go off before Judgment Bolt did. Oh, we lose right here. Perfect blocks in this demo are cool, but I agree. Feels like there's a delay and not enough obvious telegraphing. I mean, I, I feel like the delay is really oh, the shame. bigger piece they of it because I've played so Can many Soulsian games that I feel like I do know how to perfect block and it just doesn't fucking work. Oh, I can skip it. I just gotta hold this button. I feel like your aerial attacks may be stronger than your ground attacks. I think you're right. Ugh. Oh wow, the fucking, the amount of fucking tracking sometimes. Oh, oh God, fuck, thank you. You know, buddy, you could instead just use a fucking item instead of having to sacrifice your whole fucking life. Oh, I used a high potion out of annoyance. Oh, no, I didn't. I just thought I did. Okay, so I dodged two out of the three that time. Sonon, are you fucking serious, bro? so what close shame. like three shut, shut what a shame shut up you can i assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon <sighs> those are two separate cutscenes. her putting on the glasses and the little like battle simulator thing cool oh That was good. Damn. Fucking hell. Okay. I was already next to you. Oh, I dodged into it. That's good. Oh, that's gonna practically fucking kill me. That's good too. Bring me a 
bring me away to safety if we synergize? Got it. Thank you. Sonon can't help but just fucking die to this. Stunned again. It's going great. It's going so what good. Shame. It, analyze and learn from your mistakes, so that can I assume you're ready to do battle with the virtual summit? Yeah, I mean, you know, he might Cerulean, but not if he's also stunned. <laughs> Oh God, he died right before. He died right before that cure went off. So he didn't get the cure and it didn't go to me either. So it was just a dead use of ATB. Sonon fell unconscious. Yeah, for him blocking a lot, he sure takes a lot of damage. Fucking hell. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! Just what? What the hell? What? What the fuck? Bro, bro, just you grabbed one of the sparks and flung it at me like it was a damn fucking ball. Man, I sure would love to be able to attack this spark. Your back. No. Okay. 
is going well. That's cool. Oh, good. I'm just gonna have to get ready to to try to tank the the fucking. Am I stunned right now? I'm fucking stunned right now. That's awesome. I'm stunned while he's staggered. That was good. That was good. Yeah. No sleeping on the job. I don't think we got shit. Oh damn. And Sonon didn't get to finish his limit break. And depending on what his first action is, we'll decide on whether we win or lose. We lose. Oh, maybe not. I managed to actually perfect block that. Cool. Awesome. Oh, nope, we did. There's not even a fucking point in trying. Oh my God. What a shame. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can- Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? This is going great. <sighs> All right, once more with Gusto. fucking missed. Hi? You called? This is good. This is real good. Man, we're just getting fucked by those stuns like just this is gonna hurt yep like we were doing great until both of us just got fucking stun locked and now we're fucked because now i'm gonna have to run around and try to fucking recover and that's gonna be nice and easy to do Can you not go down like a fucking sack of rocks? Like I'm begging you, dude. Like, why are you? Why do you die so fucking easy?
Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. oh. Alright, we got it. That's a good word to describe me. I'm thinking legendary. Splendid. Thanks to the data you provided during one might say you were and with the Lord of Leaven on your Thank side. Thank you. Alright, so tutorial completed. Now we'll go play through everything. This will be done before the day's out. Um what's downstairs? It looks like someone downstairs wants to talk to us, so let me go see what that is real quick. What's up? Heading out. Watch yourself, okay? Good luck out there, boss. Oh, okay. Ooh. Why do you have a thing over your head like I'm supposed to talk to you? I know you're not a local, but try your best to act. Okay, all right. Well, um, anyway. Moving on from that. <laughs> Moogle. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the most controversial things. Across remake and rebirth is the uh, the design of the the Moogles. Wait, where the fuck am I going? You guys all set? Sure. Okay, streets are kind of a maze, so stay close. So now. Where are we headed? To pick up your IDs. There's no way to get topside without them. But I thought DJ was getting our high Ds. What happened with that? He is, but those are different. It takes more than one ID, or even two, to survive in this town. Don't forget, Midgar was built by Shinra or Shinra. Those tyrants! Put the claws away, boss. At least while we're in Shinra territory. Whoa. One, that was adorable. Two, you know, it would make... So Yuffie... What do you think of the Undercity? It's way too crowded. I can't stand it. Ugh, and the stench. How can anyone live here? I gotta agree with you about the smell, but you get used to it quick enough. And the Seven minute rule. bothering you eventually. The place can grow on you if you give it a chance. Uh, wait a second. Are you actually saying you like it here? I thought you hated it. Midgar isn't the enemy. Shinra is. I know W's don't really see the distinction, but we do. Then what was that stuff on the news? About a reactor blowing up and all. No way that was an accident. It had to be Avalanche. Shh. Sorry. Uh, what's up? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Hmm. Well, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Wait. Where's Cloud? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. A little fall ain't gonna stop a hard ass like him. He'll come swaggering back before long. You mark my words. Yeah, I guess he will. Now, can we talk about President Shithead? Spouting all that crap about us? That lying son of a bitch! Working for Wu Tai, Avalanche ain't nobody. Barrett. Oh. <sighs> Speaking of sons of bitches, I heard that Walmart's very own Don Corneo has his stooges out looking for you. Huh? Is that so? Oh, don't got time for no low level mobsters. We got Shinra in our sights. <laughs> Tifa, you and I both know this is far from over, right? Might as well get some rest while we still can. Right. Hmm. You know what? I think I am going to look into this. Good luck out there.
They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, we gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Should keep our distance. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Yuffie's like, I don't know, they seem way cooler. They seem to be doing more of the shit that I want to be doing. The people in the splinter cell, they couldn't care less about collateral damage. Long as Shinra goes down. So what's wrong with that? Sounds good to me. We're not out to blow Midgar up or tear it down. We want to save it from Shinra. Look around. Nine out of ten of the people living here are innocent bystanders. We can't level their home to take down one company. Well, that company almost leveled our home. And they've got to learn their lesson. Yeah, I get that. Gotta admit. I'm surprised you agreed to work with us. We're just doing what we think is necessary to build a brighter future. That's all there is to it. In other words, you're working with us so we don't work with your old buddies, knowing what would happen if we did. Uh, can we table this for later, maybe? Not sure now's the best time for heavy topics. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Hmm. Consider it tabled. So, what exactly does this ultimate materia do? I'm guessing you have big plans for it? Like after we steal it? Well, the more materia you have, the stronger you are, right? So once we've got the ultimate materia, we'll be stronger than anyone! I guess you will. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! And not just that. By sneaking into Shinra HQ and snatching their most prized possession from under their noses, not only will we deal a massive blow to their morale, but we'll prove to them that while Wu Tai might be down, we're not out. Is that the gist of it, boss? It sure is. You just fit your story fall. No biggie. Yeah, no biggie. <laughs> <laughs> See that one? <laughs> well, hello there, hot stuff. How'd you like a shot at the big time? <laughs> With those looks, I guarantee you're golden. <laughs> So what do you say? Ready to be queen of the Undercity? Hey! What am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> Kid doesn't need to hear this. You'll be a good girl and cover your ears, okay? You'd be living and working in the most luxurious residence in all you of Walmart. You want me to be one of Corneo's brides, is that it? Which makes you a person of influence, right? Oh, so you know your stuff. But I'd say I'm more of a helping hand. So why don't you help me help you? Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me. Now don't go playing hard. Aw, oh, that would hurt. I mean, so would that. <laughs> no many kids who can but do that. Sonan no, staff to the shin. I'm an adult. Fuck. <laughs> also, I'm pretty hot stuff myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night, little girl. <laughs> But if you want to pull up a seat at the grown-ups <laughs> table, be my guest. Are they weak to anything? Fire. Feel the <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I don't remember what we need to do to master her weapon ability. Maybe we already mastered it, but I'm gonna have to go go check. You're gonna eat those words, you smug piece of shit. Boss! Boss! You're not gonna believe this! The hottie of the century just fell right into our lap. She did? <laughs> Goods under the hood, chunk in the trunk, and down for a bumpy ride. Uh... Sorry, ladies, but after careful consideration, we've decided to go with a more qualified applicant. Let's go! See you around. Okay. So who were those creeps anyway? Very Fun similar music, really. Yeah, big mood. They'll say and do just about anything to get unsuspecting girls back to the Don's mansion. I thought it looked see. Uh, I need to check her equipment real quick. Okay, we did master it. Okay, so we can we can change. What is this one? Evade and attack. Uh, ATB increases when successful. Can be used while airborne. Okay. It's just strictly better. Guess you'd have to be a scumbag to build a place like that. Oh ho! And how do you know what it looks like? I saw it while I was scouting the area. Well, we're here. Now we just have to wait. Wait for who? Not sure. We used to have someone who could make big ideas in house, but they went off with the splinter cell. We've never dealt with this particular vendor before. Hmm. <sighs> hey, uh, what's up with that guy? Mako poisoning. That's what happens if you don't make the grade as a soldier. Or when the military's done using you. Just another one of Shinra's victims. Them again? Oh, Shinra's so gonna get it. If it's Shinra, uh -huh. you've got beef uh -huh. You'll be needing these. Can't access the plate without them. <laughs> They're gonna scan for those things on the train, so make sure to keep them on you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hold up! <clears throat> Try it. You'll love it. <laughs> ah! Foreigners and their weak jaws. We should probably head back and wait for Gigia. <laughs> Enjoy your material while you still can, Shinra. Cause we're coming. Not yet, boss. Huh? With things the way they are, we can't just go strolling up to the front gates. We're gonna need Avalanche to help us bypass security before we can do anything. Aww. <sighs> Why did they put Yuffie's actual name on there? It said Yuffie Kizaragi. Like, why would you put her actual name on on the paperwork? <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, a piece of candy. Kindred cord. about <laughs> change of plans go to the pillar we'll explain there hurry huh? Gigia. change of plans the s7 pillar otherwise known as the roof of the slums follow me guys why does he need us to hurry well, if you ask me, it's high time things picked up around here. You like living in the fast lane, huh? Yeah, I'm not your garden variety, Wu Tian. I'm a rare bloom. More like a uh, new Damn. Ooh, I'm so gonna use that. I like Almost that she there. liked it. Hey, that's Gigi. You're right. Hold up. 
Uh. Hey, I'm talking to you. Answer me. Well, uh, uh look, a Moogle. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> we gotta help. You two go after Gigi. I'll head back and tell the others what happened. That way. Boss, we might not be back for a while. Best to stock up before leaving. You think Avalanche pays its members? This point all work. Where are we stocking up at? Or do you mean like okay, no, there is a shop up here. Do you have any idea what DJ actually did? Whatever it was, he probably did it for us. Well, now I feel bad. No time for that, boss. Right. Uh, oh, that is such a cute hat. I love Moogles. What do you got? Nothing terribly meaningful. But I'll buy it just few things anyway. This is a weapon for Sonon? to have him finish off enemies to get his abilities okay shit got nowhere to run tell us what you know now <laughs> how about later i'm not stupid We don't have time to get into that, boss. You can ask him yourself once he's safe. Come on. He didn't say no. Now, we do know from one of the trailers that Noya and presumably the rest of this, the, the core yeah, Brit, group. I'll give you that. Piece of shit. He's toying with us. Is some kind of factory or something? It reminds me of a place I passed through when I first got here. And if it's anything like that, it'll be crawling with monsters. <laughs> you know, until you pointed out to Rillian, I didn't even notice. I was like, yeah, hit that one. react a little more <laughs> damn sonon do you think that's just a little harsh let her have her fun gotcha. mm, there was a way up over there but i think we need to go over this way Thank you. 
Alright. Like, it happens so quick that I don't know what counts as evading an attack. Look at me. Over this way. Okay, I did it that time, apparently. Can we make it happen again? Yeah, we got it. All right, get him. Sonon, you're supposed to be finishing him off. Finish him off. What? What are you waiting for? Do it. Sonon, get him. Sonon, finish him off. There you go. See, he's not moving now. Get him. There you go. You didn't get proficiency for that. I don't. <laughs> I don't fucking under understand this shit. All right, but let's switch back to the fucking shuriken. Oh no, it doesn't matter actually. Uh, we could stay with the boomerang and it, it'd be fine. Yeah, but the shuriken looks cooler, so we're gonna switch to the shuriken. Okay, you still need to like finish off one enemy with your staff for us to unlock that ability on you. Even though I don't necessarily think I find that ability. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is sweeper ranged? It's for Fort Condor. Wait, that's it. Where'd he go? Sorry. Damn it. We should radio the other squads. Aha, been looking for you. The hell? Ready? Oh, he fucking. He went down like a fucking sack of bricks. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, those guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta try and figure out which direction I'm supposed to go. We want to get to TJ. We gotta shut that down. Okay, off switch. Show yourself. Gotcha. Well, that was lucky. Let's go find out what else is over here, though. We have to properly explore the area. We can't. We can't just skip everything. paying attention to the Sutters more closely. I can see that they're still happening a little bit, but significantly less so than before we reset everything. I was not paying attention to what materia that was. It was a prayer materia. Prayer's worth having. Prayer's really good.
want to buy that Cactuar weapon DLC for Yuffie, but after finishing intermission, I'm like, meh. That is one thing I'm a little disappointed about is that my like hey, token. Right. She's local, remember? Hang on. Mm. You know, she's actually pretty cool. I feel bad saying this, but after what happened back home, I just kind of assumed no one in Avalanche could be trusted. Like they were all the same as the ones I fought. Yeah, I can imagine. But it looks like Avalanche has changed a lot since that went down, huh? The, uh, so the DLC, right, that you can also get for Remake? Um... Come on. There's like a, a couple pieces of armor and a couple of materia, I think, and then also like the Cactuar summon and the... The Moogle summon, I think, and maybe something else. I forget what all it is. Alright, now you've done it. When this is over, you're getting it good. Enjoy your freedom while you can, GJ. There's two ways you got that stuff. One was from the Butterfinger promotion, and the other one was from pre-ordering the game. Um, and I went out and got both of those, and when we played through the game the first time, I had all of that. But when you get upgraded to the PS5 version, if you put a PS4 disc into your PlayStation 5. You don't get any of your your tokens don't carry over. Ow. I'm not done. Yeah, really. So, like, when we just got done playing through Remake, if we would have played it on the PlayStation 4, I would have had, like, a few extra summons and some armor and stuff. But because we weren't... Because I didn't get to keep my, like, pre-order token, I didn't have it anymore. Mm, level the up. Best. The best there ever was. Tainted Gozu Drive, huh? Interesting. It only works as long as you have this specific armor equipped. Increases damage dealt proportional to character's current HP. That's the spirit boss. I tran I just transferred my game from PS4 to PS5. I didn't transfer my fa my save because it so for one for one my PSN account is so fucking broken. Like my PSN account is busted as shit. To the point that like I've had multiple calls with PlayStation support and PlayStation support has been like, how, I don't even, how did you do that? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Can you help me? And they're like, um, yes, we can do this. And that's as good as we can do. And I was like, good enough. Yeah, to very briefly summarize, uh, basically I created a PSN account using my Facebook account like 12 years ago. And then, um, or maybe more, I don't know. And then like, but my Facebook account 
used the same e used my personal email address and then i unknowingly created a separate psn account using my personal email address that was the same email address that was used in the facebook account but then playstation moved away from having facebook as a login so when they moved away from facebook as a login they used the email that was attached to the facebook account as the login so then i had two psn accounts that had the same email which shouldn't have been possible because if you try to create a playstation a psn account with an email address that already has a P psn account it tells you sorry that account already exists and then it asks you if you want to like you know um you know recover your account information but because of the conversion of facebook accounts into just regular email psn accounts that didn't happen so i had two accounts and they were like two accounts with the same email and they were like oh that shouldn't have been possible we don't know how to fix that i don't know if you even can fix that and i was like can you just merge them and they're like no that's not possible you better not keep them waiting what pillar me it's how'd they let him get that well if i know come on you heard the man hey boss no freeze What am I supposed to do for that uh, weapon ability? Oh, it apparently worked. Strike an enemy with maximum strength while this ability is at level three. Okay. You gotta learn to think before you act, boss. You gonna get yourself killed one of these days. Mm, sure, whatever. Sonon, don't say that, okay? That's like some weird foreshadowing. Let's get to a vantage point first. Not that Yuffie ever dies in the original story, but given the way that things are treated in remake, they're like Sonon like might have just alluded to like a, a fake out Yuffie death and rebirth. But yeah, so and I still technically have both of those accounts. They were able to help me to the point of changing the email account on one of them so that i could access them separately and then i was like look i really don't want two psn accounts is there a way that i can like get a couple of tokens or something marked onto an account so that i have access to like this on this other account and they're like uh maybe and they got back to me like two days later and they're like we did this does that work and i'm like I guess. And they're like, I'm sorry, we're trying. And I'm like, no, 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 I understand. This is an unfortunate circumstance for everyone. Um, do I have to hit that thing before I climb off of this? How are we gonna get across? Yes. <laughs> is that a switch I see? Yuffie, I'm way ahead of you. I was playing this section sleep deprived. I missed so much. That's actually something that I was, I, I didn't verbalize it, but it was something that I did have a thought about when we were replaying through Remake. Because when we were replaying through Remake, one, I was still really, really early in like my content creation journey, right? And so I was like, eh, you know, and I, I wasn't as confident in what I was doing or how I was doing it. So I was really distracted by things that weren't, um, you know, the game essentially. Uh -oh. 
keep using it i know that's not how i actually get the uh the proficiency on it but i think it was actually still giving me proficiency yeah it's even if you don't use it at max it still gives you proficiency for it um oh these were two stairways that led to the same area but so i was early in my content creation journey uh, so i was very distracted while i was playing final fantasy 7 remake the first time uh, oh, we're like really low on MP, I just realized. And we also crammed the entire game into like a couple of days total because we were, I was trying to play through all of it in the like four days that I had, which was, I took like two days off of work and that was all I really had to play it was like a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, and then Monday. Okay, I was pretty new at, at my job at that point in time, too. And so there was a lot of things that I didn't get. I wasn't necessarily sleep deprived, but there was a lot of things that I didn't get to appreciate the same way that I did when we replayed through it this time. Four days, that's quite a short t span of time. Yeah, it was. I mean, we we did like four nine hour days and then that was the, the whole game. Let's get this over. Ah, uh, you missed. Rude. Get lost, me. Present, that still hit. Love, love. And our heroine triumphs again. Good job, Yuffie. And so I'm gonna try really hard to not do that um, with rebirth. Uh, about what you said earlier. Which was. About Avalanche, how it's changed. Oh, that. These people are too soft. But those Splinter Cell guys, they sound like the ones we should have teamed up with, don't you think? Yeah. I guess so. Go back and claim it so they know they're done for. I don't know what you mean, though. They're all just really good people. And that's the problem. Milkgar doesn't need good people. Not that we care what happens to it. Oh, all right. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to not do that with rebirth, though. I'm going to try and take my time, enjoy it, gotcha. explore it properly, especially because, like, I really don't have a whole lot of time to to spend replaying games. I also don't have a whole lot of time that I spend playing games on my own time either. A little bit of gaming with friends. I mean, that's about as far as that normally ends up going. A little bit of social gaming, as it were, you know? And so, unless there's DLC, I probably won't retouch Rebirth after we finish playing through it until after... Ooh, Elemental Materia. Um, I fucking love Elemental Materia. <laughs> uh, I probably won't touch 
rebirth again until uh what whatever section three ends up being called i guess we'll go with lightning do i want lightning Fire, ice. Fire. I put that on armor? Yeah. Which element though? That's why I normally put it as a uh, offense is because as offense, I don't have to necessarily worry as much about guessing wrong for it to still be useful. Considering how she has elemental attacks to change to whatever she wants, that's true. What element would I want? Ramu was using lightning. Let's swap back to lightning for now. Forget what would be a good one. Probably lightning or fire. Probably fire, honestly. Speaking of Sonon, he's got some empty uh, materia slots that we need to, like, put some shit into. Put the other elements. Put that on you, since I don't have another cure materia to put on you. enough how far away am i from mastering banishment okay like there's a lot of enemies that breathe fire there's a lot of flamethrowers on a lot of the uh the um the mechanical enemies from shinra hey son on quit getting ko'd yeah no kidding right the problem is, is that at base, HP up is only 10%, so it just doesn't feel like it does very much to help with the don't get KO'd shit. Sonon. Why me? Yeah, it's fair. Stay focused. How do you like this? Uh, Ow, I am very hurt, I just realized. I didn't realize what our HP was. to fire and ice. Sonon. My dude. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Turn this around. Leave me alone. Put that away before you hurt somebody with it. Fucking monster hunter wannabe ass looking ass bitch. Ah! Oh god. I'm stuck. I can't get out. Let me free. Ow. 
This sucks. Your move. It's fine. We're fine. Why are you even worried? Time to crack those squad attacks for mercy. How do you like this? Hold on. Got your back. Can't go and get Hey, don't pull any punches. Was it planned? Ready for a smackdown? It's the power of his promise. All right. It can't be far now. Let's get our rears in gear. What is a Mezu drive? Big G, little O, go, go, go. Big G, little O, go, go, go. How dare you be that adorable? Only effective when the Gatholian armlet is equipped. Increases damage inversely proportional to character's current MP. So if you're almost out of MP, it does better. You do better damage. Is that, am I understanding that correctly? Inversely proportional. So since I'm out of MP, I should do more damage, right? Is that logic correct? You obtain a note from Zizi. Oh. Conveyor belt passes through storage. Break containers of Shrukin. Screw over Shinra. Get to it. Good. Go. Done. Go. Oh, there it is. Yeah, break break all of his shit. Stick it to the man. Gotcha. 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 Well, that was lucky that that big box fell on that little one. Targeting leaves a little bit to be desired, but you know, it's fine. I missed one of the big boxes. I didn't get much out of all those big boxes. Where'd that huge box go? Oh, it fell away. We got some stuff. Look at how she runs. Building just screams important. Go away, that's an story. What building? You fear adorable. Well, this way gives us an item. Now it's a magic up materia. Be so many guards. I 
I think you know exactly why. Gotta say, they might call this place a maintenance facility, but it looks more like an arms factory to me. Let's keep it tight, boss. We can't afford any more mistakes. GJ's life depends on it. GJ. Yeah, but look, loot. Oh, and a rest spot. It's for lightning material. Good job. That does not look like the bench that I'd want to do that on. Even if I did only weigh like 97 pounds. I can't afford none of that shit. I think I would like an extra healing interior. I don't think any of the rest of this really matters though. I'd like to be able to run efficiently like that along bars. Yeah, big mood. I can agree. Spill it! Who gave you that information? Oh, his name was something like... Heidegger? Wrong answer! <laughs> I'm gonna ask you again. All right, all right. I'll tell you. It was Rufus. You don't say. <laughs> or was it Hojo? Ready to do this, boss? Born ready. Great. I'll draw their attention. You grab our guy. A diversion, huh? I like it. <laughs> but don't forget, I'm the leading lady. <laughs> hey, you! Evildoers! Over here! What the hell? Who's there? you'd ask and action Someone as a beguiling ninja Others as the world's greatest materia hunter but who am i truly well excited onlookers wonder no more before you stand the rare blue, the single white rose of Wutai, the one and only Yuffie! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind, it's just some kid. Right? <laughs> Performance, boss. <laughs> Who are you anyway? We're tie-ins. Got eyes on hostiles. Requesting backup. fight this thing not a fucking chance ow that fucking hurt resist fire earth wind and cool it's head acceptable physical attacks tails acceptable lightning lightning also fills its rabid rap red stagger gauge long range attack increases when it's containment laser finds the target all right ow okay thank you i guess Do we have the... No, he does. Uh, but 
we can do this. Hey, don't do that. So now you come crawling down. This will make things easier. Just a joke. Oh, not a fan of lightning, huh? This thing just won't let up. Might as well wait just for a moment. Don't give very many opportunities to, you know, actually summon anything, so. Carry all that like Street Fighter, please. Yeah, big mood. Same. What's up, Ramu? Yeah, he's not here right now. Ramu's like, I'll just kill that bitch from here. I don't give a fuck. Unfortunately, they are above it. Ram 
Mamu's gonna finish it off for us. Just do it. Yep. Nice work. You saved my ass. Huh? <laughs> it was nothing. Well, it did earn you these. Huh? Employee ID cards. They'll get you into the Shinra building. And pretty much any floor. <laughs> basement included. That's where advanced weaponry's got their lab set up. And where they conduct their materia research. If what you're looking for is anywhere in that place, it's gonna be there. Got it. You guys should probably get moving. Word is, Shinra's got something big lined up for us. Nothing less than the destruction of Sector 7. <sighs> <laughs> but whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. Right. I'm gonna go report to the others. Good luck up there. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah. Next time, I'm buying. I'll show you how Wutain's really party. <laughs> Deal. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Don't forget to tell the Splinter Cell about Sector 7, I mean. I won't. Well, boss, sounds like we better get going. Let's head up as soon as you're ready. Ready! <laughs> Someone's like, I'm only like 22 and I don't have the energy for this 16 year old. I don't think anyone has the energy for this 16-year-old. What's going on? To think this is where those bastards plotted their attacks. Right under our noses. Too bad they made it out before the military could get here. Like chickens flying the coop. Probably best if we don't stick around. Let's catch the train. Okay. Hey, do you remember the last... Realize we probably need to switch... Oh, he hasn't actually finished uh, learning that yet. Whatever. Which way? Uh, it doesn't matter. What's up, Weimer? I can't believe those freaking morons. They damn near got themselves eaten trying to hide that stupid poster. You stay away from that factory, you hear? The place has monsters coming out of the walls. Okay. We'll do, Weimer. So, do you think Niall and the others got away? We can worry about that once we have boss. Mm -hmm. Boss, I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon, so make sure you're ready for anything, okay? Yeah. I think we're good here. Let's roll. I wasted enough time dying to Ramu. Uh, what's with all these people? Due to the recent incident at Mako Reactor 5, only a limited number of trains are currently in service. Please no note that the Sector 5 Undercity Station is closed until further notice. Thank you. Shh. Splinter Cell's done its best to make things hard for you. Miss this train and there's no telling when the next will be. Looks like it's now or never, guys. Thanks, Billy Bob. Sorry we couldn't give you a proper send-off. 
Just know that we're rooting for you, okay? Sewn on. I wonder in what capacity he's going to appear again. Uh, oh boy. Gonna be sick. <laughs> I'll be fine. As long as I'm standing up. <sighs> Don't laugh. <sighs> Melfi always got motion sick. Chocobos, boats, <laughs> I'm sure trains would have done it too. Who is Melfi? My sister. Huh. She trained under your father at the same time as me. And she had such promise. Had? The war was ending. But a Shinra mech went haywire near a crowd, and she had to do something. We deserve what's coming to him. Yeah. They do. But I'm not your sister. <laughs> Cerulean, what is the name uh, of schedule? the girl <laughs> in the Durga Cerberus that works for Deep Ground? Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector Isn't it 7 selfie? Is home to more than selkie? 50, uh, Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Reeve. Progress requires sacrifice. I think it's Selkie. Learn to live with it. Because <laughs> Selfie is from Final Fantasy VIII, and I think Selkie is the girl from Deep Ground in Dirge of Cerberus. Oh, look at all these people. Enough to make you sick. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Excuse me, I have some questions. You work for Shinra, isn't that right? Then would you care to comment on the rumors that Sector 7 will be the terrorist next target? <laughs> They're going to hit the reactor, aren't they? You! Stop right there! <laughs> Get the hell what out of here. What is the military? Elevators are right there. Let's catch one. You're up, Heidi. Come on, come on, come on. Shelky, okay. Hold the door. What floor? The basement. Advanced weaponry. Going down. Doors closing. Perfect. Just perfect. Hmm? are fallen. Wutai colluding with Avalanche and resorting to terrorism? <laughs> I always thought the Wutaians an honorable people. They used to be, certainly. But now, now they're nothing but blood-sucking flies buzzing around Shinra's face. <laughs> Would you not agree? In light of recent events, I mean. I would. A hundred percent. What a lovely smile. Uh. Open up! 
I think not. Foreign visitors should take the scenic route. Uh, and savor the opportunity to meet our latest autonomous weapons. <laughs> Damn it! I'll never get a better chance. That was Scarlet, Director of Advanced Weaponry. It was one of her machines that killed Melfi! Calm down, Sonan. Calm down. Remember, we're here for a reason. So I'm really curious if we'll end up seeing more of Deep Ground, because Deep Ground ends up showing up in, in this, right? In intermission. I was ready to strangle her myself. And that's before she sent us off in the wrong direction. Where did she send us? <sighs> Only one way to find out. Because, like, worry. we fight we'll Nero get to in... eventually. Just a little longer, my precious. We fight Nero here at the end. He's the final boss of intermission. And Weiss is a bonus boss uh, for remake that you can't fight until you have beaten intermission, which means I guess we could technically go fight him, but I'd just get my shit fucking rocked. Uh, I'm not going to pretend like I'm very good at <laughs> this game. Um, it, it, it's just not a Soulsian enough for me to know what the fuck I'm doing most of the time. Uh, oh, combat simulator. It absolutely doesn't, Cerulean. And, like, if, if it did, I think I would be better at it, but I don't think people would like it as much. I would probably actually do better at this game if I stopped if I just let classic mode play. <laughs> Look at this place. Weapons here, weapons there, weapons everywhere. They're ready for some serious action. It sounds like you are too. Duh. Unlike my old man, I'm not some lazy drunk. I fight for what I believe in. Something he'd never understand. Wonder how he's holding up. What kind of guards you need? Not well, if the government's got anything to say about it. Good on him. Jail's where he belongs. That's my master you're talking about. Mind laying off him a little? You know what? Let's drop it. Not exactly my favorite topic. It's only gonna make me mad. More importantly... My god, you people are dead. Interesting thing just there. So, Yuffie's father is Godo, who it, It's Godo, right? I think it's Godo. Who is the leader of Wutai. And in the original game, Godo is sitting at the top of the pagoda, just kind of like resting, waiting, because they don't really know, Wutai doesn't really know what to do. Like Wutai is not nearly as active or involved as they are in Remake and Intermission and likely in Rebirth and probably in whatever part three is. Wutai is this place that you hear about that you can only really experience the story of and go to if you get Yuffie in your party and you have to like have Yuffie blah 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 and even then it is such a sidelined thing and Godo is technically a bonus boss that after you finish the story of Wutai you can fight to get uh, Yuffie's final limit break but he was never in prison and so i'm curious what that's gonna mean story-wise here obviously wutai is more active so is like the avalanche core spell core cell so are so is everybody right and so like yuffie and sonan are on a mission from wutai and they're hooked up with the original core avalanche and we know that they are more active they're doing some subterfuge but i wonder what that ultimately will mean long term Luckily, I know exactly how to lie things up. We want to do an experiment. Just don't go dying on me. That might yield very interesting results now, would it? Unit calibration complete. Initiating combat data collection sequence. Okay. I'd 
really love to like attack the drone okay i was like but it's really hard when he's behind something like that ow Speaking of fire. Ow. Don't do that. Ow, ow, ow. No caffeine for you today? Good job! Why do you hate them, UV? They Because they die too fast? Is that why you're upset? I noticed you like using menu selection for your abilities. I'm surprised a good number of people do that over using the shortcut hold out one method similar to Kingdom Hearts. I've only ever played one Kingdom Hearts game, uh, so that makes a, a pretty big difference for my side. The other thing is, is that like, if I could change the command menu right now, but I have to remember to set that up <laughs> between fights and I never remember. <laughs> Um, I use it a lot on Tifa because on Tifa I do have it set up to the abilities that I want on like the quick access. Ow! But if I don't have the ability set up, then it's just kind of hard to like use. Ow! You shot me! Leave me alone! Ow! You're gonna get what's coming to you. But like Tifa's already set up, so like, cause like I know that L1 plus square I have set up for her whatever it is to increase her chi level, and L1 plus X is her freaking charging attack, and Circle is starstruck or whatever it's called. You exceeded my every expectation. And for being such good sports, you may now leave. Why did I ever think for a second she'd be nice to us? She knows damn well it's gonna be a pain in the ass getting up there. Unbridled strength. Yeah, that's it. That one. See, so you know. And I, I think the... I think it's called, like, Overwhelm. Do we have a second sphere in these yet? We do, okay. 10, 12, 12. I have enough for two. What's in here? Thievery? Allows you to use mug. Mug any good?
if you perfect guard, it casts regen. Well, that's cool. Rebirth upgrades are interesting. Oh, well, I mean, they use like a sphere tree instead of this weird crystarium looking thing that reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy 13. Oh, it just connects the slots. I don't care about that. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Wow, attack power plus two. Be still my beating heart. Don't you threaten me with a good time. Jeez. Talk about a minimal upgrade. Fuck it, just connect the material slot. to believe that that boost was necessary but that final boss fight was rough the one against nero <laughs> madam director the intruders are about to reach the research facility and we'll let them meanwhile find out what it is they want <laughs> you do have eyes don't you Three of them. Then you can see that while they are simpletons, they've made it further than any normal Wu Taiyan ever could. Clearly, they are ninjas. Teenage ninjas. Teenage mutant ninjas. And they've come such a long way. We simply must roll out the red carpet. My trusty steed should provide a fitting welcome, I think. Keep me apprised, would you? Ma'am, cut system power to the research facility. Bar access to confidential data, then retrace their steps. Find out why they're here. Above all, do not let them out of your sight. Sir! I mean, Sonon did call Yuffie a ninja. And you know, they are into, you know, happy turtles. So you could even call them Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is that materia I smell? End of the line, Wu Tai scum! <laughs> Guess not! I really should set up a little bit of her uh, stuff because it's just not useful right now. Gotcha. With the this their idea of mood lighting? Cause it's bad. Might be the power. That thing's off too. <laughs> Sniffers. Um bum 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 bum. Is it under battle settings? Yes, okay. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Abilities. Yeah, let's put Mug in there. And the elemental ninjutsus are a terrible thing to put in there. Actually, not. Let's put Mug. Let's put the, the Brumal form on this. And let's put that there. Yeah. For immersion, at least you're going into the battle menu a lot. I mean, you have to if you want to choose a uh, elemental ninjutsu. We know you're never gonna really mug anyway. Hey, yeah, it, I, I, I might. You, Talk about hitting the jackpot. This must be where they make their materia. Maybe, but they're not what we came for. Let's keep moving, boss. Totally. After I grab a few souvenirs. 
Oh, I gotta turn the power on. Oh, is it two bars? Yeah, you're probably right. I probably am not gonna fucking use it. <laughs> I could be healing, yeah, because Lord knows Sonon's not gonna fucking do it. Level one power grid online. Initiating Mako energy saturation. Deploying security grid. Mmm, piece of candy. Eh. So not move. Ninja cannonball materia. Well, that's specific. Uh, I can get rid of this parry material. You want to know what I'm not using? Fucking parry. It allows you to perform ninja cannonball with R1 plus triangle wall synergize. Fill Sonon's OTB gauge when the attack connects. Yeah, that sounds useful. Wait, is that a security grate or a ladder? Thanks, Shinra. You're missing some material. I'll go back. Don't worry. Ooh. Ooh, a piece of candy. That's that's like the best candy. Oh my god. Leakages. Steadfast block, which is okay. What the fuck is skill master? Okay, cool. I don't know what it's like in Rebirth, but I will still contest that the Materia system in Remake is just like... Subpar. Wait a minute. Fuck I just do. Not get to where I needed to get to. I need to take that elevator. So there's a path that is up there that I just like didn't see, but that's okay. Yoink, 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 bing bong. Fuck your life. I know there was a way to like. What? I need to go. I'm missing something. Can't go up any higher. Yeah, I know I need there. Thanks, game. 
don't think. UV, what are you doing? Suddenly he found himself lost and unsure of what to do. Hmm? Okay, I walked up to that door earlier and it didn't open, so maybe I just didn't rub my face on it hard enough. A volant armlet. I'm just making words up now, huh? Uh, good defense, terrible material slots. All right. I'm gonna go to town on these jerks. Ow, that was fucking rude. Are you weak to fire like everyone, all the other people? Yeah, alright. Oh yeah, does Mug take two? No, it only takes one. Okay. Oh, I failed to steal against both of them. Damn. Chances of stealing are bad, apparently. Wow. Hope you learned your lesson. Like seven steel attempts, failed them all. Okay, Yuffie's weapon leveled up. Does that open another core? It does, not that I have any points to, to spend on it, but. Anything interesting in any of these? Oh, thievery's in here. New material slot. Steel success rate up. Here we go. We're figuring it out, dog. Wait. Increases odds of successfully obtaining items using steel. But what if you're using mug? Where's my mug rate up? The hell? Being robbed. Feels like I'm playing Final Fantasy IX, but worse. Oh God, I've not played all the way through Final Fantasy IX. I've only played through the first, like, I don't know, seven hours, but I definitely remember exactly what you're talking about in terms of just how atrocious that game is when it comes to stealing. In that, in that it's bad. I'm stuck at the end of disc one. I'm not even sure where that is. Final Fantasy IX is also a game that me and Athena would like to play for Power Couple and do uh, voices for. Uh, we would be doing a modded version though. Uh, we'd be doing the Maguri mod because I, I refuse to play the base form of Final Fantasy IX. It currently sits at the bottom of my tier list of all the Final Fantasy games because of the way that it's programmed. Anything here? Ha! 
Hey, look, a friend. Got you in my sight, Shinra. All right, not weak to anything. It's immune to magic. While their core is exposed, they'll unleash a pulse later. Destroying or stealing the core will weaken and render them susceptible. expecting what you're gonna make me do all the work Come on now. up and at him ow great. just great Okay, we, we can switch Sonon back to his other weapon now that we actually finally, finally uh, got him to learn his ability just in time for him to die. The core must have a, it, it might just be a guaranteed um, steel chance, honestly. Um, anything special in here? Incendiary limit breaks. What the fuck does that mean? Sure. Let's eat a bunch of high potions. This better be a weapon for us. Fuck. All right, well, let me see what the ability on that is real quick. Oh, it has Incite on it. Yeah, we want that uh, upgrade weapons. Sorry, I'm going to have to upgrade this real quick. Real quick. You know, while the, uh, the weapon upgrade system is not very well loved, uh the one complaint i i don't have a problem with it as a system the main complaint i have with it is it is annoying to try to select the node that you want most of the time i'm just hitting the button until it ran feels like it finally random rolls over to the node that i want it to upgrade Uh, you're gonna lose a materia switching to that. What materia are you gonna lose? 
lightning. Um, let's let's have you lose the ice materia instead. Just give me a tree as I'm highlighting a node rather than having me guess what node is in the circle rotation like windows folders. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest thing, right? Because it doesn't even make sense from like the way that you might think it would work, right? Because like if, if I could move to it by moving my like moving the stick in its direction, that'd be one thing. Or like, you know, you see a skill list, right? And it has attack power, attack power, magic power. Like if it even followed the list, cause it should go attack power, attack power, magic power. So it goes down. Nope, nope, went to magic power. And then if I go back, let's see. Okay, it goes to magic power again. This time, if I push up, it goes to attack power. And then for some reason jumped over to the materia slot. And then like, it just bounces all the fuck around. And I don't understand. Oh, I hit down that time and went to the attack power. Went to a different attack power that time. Like, I don't understand. It, it doesn't, it seems to literally just go to a random one. And I don't understand what it's doing. And if it wasn't for how annoying that very specific thing was, I would have zero issues with the weapon upgrade system in Remake. But the menu control for getting to the nodes you want, hell, just let me move freely. Like, let me just move the cursor and float in the void to get to the node that I want. You can even still have them spinning around and shit. I don't care. Identity confirmed. Access granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. Proceed to gate to begin training exercise. Training? Really? Just give us what we came for already. Might still be worth a shot. Could be something in it for us. Just be careful. Okay? HB assist, ATB boost, ATB stagger. Sure? Is this just the box break game? Yes. Uh, orange crates, physical, purple, magical. Okay. but it's not it's not what's right here oh okay that I'm, I'm glad you're targeting that With the power of his 
Oh, I think I'm 400 points short of the final reward. Yeah, 400 points short. Access granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. If I beat it, do I unlock the second difficulty to get the other ones? Yeah, that was a good first run for sure. Especially when I was fumbling around with targeting. That didn't work quite as well as I was hoping. Why didn't I teleport to it? What the fuck? UV for the love of Christ. What are you targeting, girl? Oh, fuck. That was even worse. I feel like I had less time, even though I fumbled targets less. I must have missed a uh, a time box somewhere in there. The junkie targeting. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest uh, hang up here is the junkie targeting. Where are you going? Ignoring those other two blues over there because you're gonna get what's coming to you. What the fuck, game? Game. Target. Oh, oh my god. Game. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> we're gonna go this way. We're gonna throw it that. And we're gonna go over here. And then we're gonna go in here. Oh, yeah, Dina. No, 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 game, 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 game. Oh my God, fucking hell. What the fuck? Oh God. Oh. 
Yeah, it's, it's definitely the targeting is the biggest problem here. <laughs> Of like, I want to attack that, and Yuffie's like, I don't know what you want, and I'm like, I want you to use your ninjutsu on that, and she's like, I don't, I don't know what that means. What's ninjutsu? And you're like, oh. Okay, well. Yeah, just random air flailing. What are we doing? I don't know. Attacking. not time back here unfortunately i was like is there time back here damn and i still missed it by 400 exactly what the fuck am i doing Access granted. i shouldn't have gotten distracted i should have just went with my original plan but i saw another room that i hadn't seen before and i was like i don't know it's back here it's fine Again, we're just, you know, getting proper practice in before we have to fight uh, Nero because that's going to suck. Wasting too much time on those. Why? No. I'm curious about something, so we are going to go back over here again, though. And we're going to do this and do this. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Are you fucking joking me? What we got there? Yay!
Soldier training program unlocked. What do we get out of that Access one? Granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. Proceed to gate two. Magnify. Oh, magnify materia. Gill up, exp up. Uh, I'll give it one go, but I'm not like super jazzed. I mostly just wanted to see what was in the uh, the other side. What are we attacking? What are we attacking? Yeah, if there's anything in there we want, it's magnify. That is apparently not physical attacks, even though I got this fucking attack of weapons spinning all around me. This one helps with purples. Oh, it doesn't help with the frame rate. Holy crap. I can't actually get up there. Oh, that's that's some junk. Run like a chocobo. Oh my god, the, the, the damage that does to the frame rate is like honestly impressive. Boom! Well, that was really good. I think, uh, oh no, we needed 50k for the third one. I don't know how you'd get 50k, but I'll, I'll be happy with the 30k that I got. Give me a magnify and a gill up. We don't need the, uh, the EXP plus. I'm, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy with that pretty damn impressive first, first run. There's a fucking shitload of heli gunners in here. I don't like that. Uh, uh oh. Uh, oh, come on! How could we have gotten so lost? Easy now. Focus. Uh, I know. Spare the chow bean? Sure. Hmm. Oh. 
You ate it. You sound surprised. Man, I'm glad you're here. Likewise. It really helps, knowing I'm not alone in all this. Yeah, same here. Ow. Is this the part where there's loot on the other side? Yes. All right. Schwann without a suit, yeah. Right now, anyway. Don't worry, they hate you too. Mostly because they just like have no chance of survival against you. How are you, Don? What have you been up to? That, that's that 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 alone makes the DLC worth it. I've ever really streamed in a suit though. I'm sure I have at some point. What are you getting drops for, Don? Can't see squat. Light, light. I need more light. Last epoch. Ah. Yeah, we have to go back down to get over to that materia over there. Well, maybe. Level three power grid online. Initiating Mako energy saturation. Deploying security break. Now we're cooking. Coming materia ready or not. Can I get there from? Oh. Hello? What? What? Game? Am I not supposed to be able to run up these like I did all the other ones? I'm gonna go down a floor so I can go get that over there because uh, we want to go down one floor. All right, well, this one had it. Conflict. 
I, I do wish they wouldn't have like muted that conversation because I interact with an elevator button. They don't see the world like this. And when you look at the world, what is it that you see? Wings blown to dust. Plumes of gun smoke. People pleading. Bloodshed. Me too. And I'll never forget. Why? Why can't I run on these? I don't understand. But. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. Did that put enough light for this room? Yes. Okay. That's why I can't. Because they're like, stop trying to go forward yet. You dingus. Man. Another stupid dud. Uh oh. Hey, get out of here! Quit pulling out on us, Shinra! We're here for materia, not these dorks! You're a dork. You really are a dork. Before he fucking ejects, I'm getting the fuck away from him. Projecting. Now he's ejecting. Okay, I was like, I know you're gonna explode soon. Please get up, finish, hurry up and do it. Yay. So, have you found out what they want yet? We think this guy. So. We can't say for certain, as their behavior is erratic. But they appear to be searching for materia. Excuse me? You mean to say that these savages have gone to all this trouble for materia? So far as we can tell, yes. How very dull. Be that as it may, I suppose I should talk to them. Ma'am. Enjoying yourselves, I trust? <laughs> Awed by a simple hologram? How precious. But I know just what you need to loosen up a little. After such a long journey, you must be so tense. <laughs> Luckily, I have toys for that. All far more entertaining than this. What do you want? Oh dear. Is that any way to talk to your host? Really, though? As guests, it's more about what you want, and I think you'll find it just up ahead. Hurry now! Don't keep me waiting! So, boss, what are you thinking? That we're walking into a trap, I guess. But it's nothing we can't handle, right? Couldn't have said it better myself.
I want to sit on the bench first. Anything in here? Anything in here that we'd actually want to buy? No. All right. Let me fiddle with a couple of things real quick. That being a bit of materia. Let's replace that with magnify and move that over there because you're not using it and replace that with time so that we can get AOE haste going on. Uh, those are still fine. Those are still fine. Yeah, all right. And Yuffie, what do you got? Oh, I haven't used this at all. I should try it. I need to try to remember to actually try that. Uh, and I think the rest of that's fine. Um, okay. Eyeball or gun? Eyeball. Selection confirmed. Initiating ordnance deployment procedure. Subjects approaching test site. Test will begin momentarily. Beginning analysis. Actually, weak to anything, weak to win. Okay. Your move. Will you take damage from anything right now? You don't take damage from magic attacks or from... Okay, you did take damage from that. Okay, now you're taking damage, okay. Another one for the books. Analysis concluded, continuing trial. Select ordinance type to deploy for this trial. Uh, saw blade. Selection confirmed. Initiating ordnance deployment procedure. Okay. Subjects approaching test site. Test will begin momentarily. Wakey wakey. I'm going to assess it and I'm sure it's going to say, hey, lightning's good. Yep, okay. Don't pull any punches. 
Did I do win? Am I a dumbass? I did. All right. Thank you. Yeah, fight us. Do it. Fight us. <laughs> no, no, don't make me. Selection confirmed. They're fucking Initiate crazy. Deployment procedure. I've become sentient at the worst possible time. Subjects approaching test site. Test will begin momentarily. It's about to baby brat. We know. Let me in. Beginning analysis. Guard Scorpion? Hey, it's hold on. <laughs> it's hold on. Subjects approaching Never mind. Site. Oh no, it's a moth unit. Okay. It's a moth unit. Hurt, bro. Drink the high potion, Sonon. I hope you were thirsty. Beginning analysis. Assess the death wheel. It's weak to everything but electric. Pelting you with magic attacks is good. Uh, weak in the rear. Ow. 
What are you doing there? So I'm hitting it with magic and it's just like not filling up its stagger bar the way that it, it told me that it would. I think it lied to me. Like it's saying weakness, but it doesn't seem to be actually like being weak to the thing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, well, that, that was bad. Store for you next. It's quite the treat, I assure you. Only the best for our honored guests, after all. Yeah, only the best. Whenever you're ready. Thanks. Can I get a bench? Oh, you're so kind. Appreciate you. Yeah, give me a few more of those. I don't know if we're going to need Echo Mist, but just in case. Go ahead and make a little savey save. Save save. And just a just a new one. Just a new save is fine. <laughs> what are we fighting here? Like a a, a prototype we? proud clod, right? That thing can't be operational, can it? Yeah, yeah. We better hope not, boss. At long last, Wu Tai's finest deign to join us. <laughs> You've performed admirably. Quit acting all superior. We both know you're afraid of us. <laughs> Is that so? Well, maybe I am. You should know there's more where we came from. Lots more. And you'll never see him coming. Just imagine a whole clan of ninjas landing on your doorstep. <laughs> oh my! We must do something right away. Well, you can't. Don't say that. Won't you at least give us a chance? Oh, Scarlet, you delightful bitch. What the I'm minimal. Allow me to present the latest innovation in Shinra battle armor. Designed by yours truly. This will be a memory to cherish for the rest of your lives. All 30 seconds of them. And, and big same. Ow, ow, ow. Thank you. Much longer, eh, boss? Right on. They're as good as scrap. All right. What are we looking at here? Scarlet's weak to fire. It is resistant to fire. There's, oh, some weapons around the room. That's fine. Uh, if we defeat her... Then the thing falls. Ow. Please stop. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Scarlet. Oh! Scarlet is very talented. She, I mean, she is incredibly intelligent too. Um, ba -bum -bum. You know what? Let's just go with lightning because I'm sure more of our attacks are going to, uh, um, oh. hit the bot. That's the word I'm looking for. Ow. Rude. Ow. I'm fine. Ramu, you feel like helping, buddy? That'd be sweet. Is it cool if I bring a friend? Scarlet does give big Team Rocket energy. That wow! Oh! Fucking. Uh oh. Ow. Ah. Laser beams. Ah. Oh, that was a good time for that too. like it hurt. Pull yourself together. 
Here, a personal favorite. Do you prefer me in the No barrier. It's almost dead. Oh, my God. Ah! Uh oh, oh, oh. You're going to regret messing with me. Oh. It's fine. You had to go and wake the beast. All right. Should have known those actuators weren't up to the task. Time for an overhaul. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my, my, my. How the tables have turned. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Proud of yourself, little savage. <laughs> what are you doing? is a surprise to what do i owe the pleasure <laughs> these idiots want to digitally replicate me so i'm indulging them all set transporting <laughs> when will Shinra learn? There is no replicating you. They ought to know better. <laughs> Looking forward to this? I am. It has been too long since my last hunt. <laughs> what you do? Tell us! Is this how it's done in Wutai? You just howl until you get what you want. That's enough, Sonon. I got this. All right, lady, out with it. <coughs> Tell us where you're hiding the new materia. Don't play dumb now. We know you've been cooking up something super powerful. Well, well. Wutai must have some highly skilled intelligence operatives that or we have a mole in our midst what was I'll check on is that your keyboard or is it something to do with twitch because i've been right, having similar things happen or like on twitch i will have you it are correct start that typing in the process of backwards an exquisite new materia however it is far from complete yeah right you must think i'm stupid would i lie to you Regrettable though it is, other plans have been deemed a higher priority. What other plans? <laughs> well, just between you and me, my colleagues and I are going to drop plate number seven on the slums. And then we're going to blame it on Avalanche and Wutai. I don't get it. You're gonna drop a plate? And? Oh dear. I think your friend might have run into trouble. Aren't you going to save him? <laughs> Quickly now. <laughs> By the way, I just want to commend Scarlet for a moment because she was on the ground right now. Like she does have a high side slit, but she was on the ground sitting in that dress 
Her hands are tied behind her back and she was able to unassisted stand up. It's hard enough to stand up with your hands tied behind your back if you're not in a tight red dress. But she was sitting on the ground with her hands behind her back. I was like, oh, I gotta stand up. <laughs> she passes the functional movement test. Yeah, no kidding. Like you wanna you wanna watch you wanna see how difficult that is? I'll let you see how much of a derp ass I am trying to get up without with with just just trying to keep my hands behind my back. It won't go well. It's part of the villain academy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, I did kick the box. Okay. You just gonna wait here? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Better hurry. But yeah, and when I say typing backwards, by the way, minimal, I don't mean like just like the letters were like the letters were reversed, like backwards, like mirrored. <laughs> Ow, that hiccup hurt. There you are. Who are these assholes? No clue. Targets are just appeared. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Just hit me with it. There is no ultimate materia. Not yet. She said it's still in the works. And she mentioned something else. They're gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what? They're gonna drop plate number seven on the slums. Apparently... Oh, I'm a part of the sector. Wait. So GJ was being serious? This is bad. It's deep brown, motherfuckers! We may not have the material, but we do have good intel. And we can't afford to let it die with us. With the power of his How do I make you guys take more damage? Are you weak to fire like all of them? Oh, what? Because he disappeared, it didn't hit the ground? That doesn't even make sense. Damn it. Really? He died a split second before the heal went off, so then the heal just didn't do anything. Alright, you killed him. Good job. Huh? 
<laughs> what? Opening doors. That's your priority? Grenade out! Somehow, I seriously doubt it. Do I get a bench in here? I do. Oh, man, I so don't want to go back out there. But I don't think we've got a choice. Yay, bench. Now you're just waiting for me to try to get up with my hands behind my back? Oh, God. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking flop around. Getting the sleepy cerulean. Well, we're almost done. But I mean, you've also seen it, so. Uh, I forgot what I need to do to leave. Uh, I have to fight something in here. Work, you stupid. No good. Door won't budge. Meaning we're trapped. figure we need a challenge meaning we're in for a world of hurt oh good Good job. You're a combatant. Jokes on you, Shinra. If you think we're dying in this ugly box. We're done here. Wow, they uh, they put up one hell of a fight, didn't they? Gotta be a projection mechanism around here somewhere. If we can just find it. Uh, what do I need to do? All right, gotta deal with the creature first. Got it. Weak against ice. 
attack its baiting arm first. Damn it! Almost got it in one go. I'm weak against ice too, that's fair. Help me, old man! Wait until it manifests. Summon abilities will take Lance. Oh, it fucking missed with the Lance. That sucks. Ow. Please don't. No. Ow. Thing's just like a judgment bolt when the monster's not here. Is that what's about to happen? Okay, no, it was here. Okay. Thank you. Yay! I thought we were literally going to get a judgment bolt while the monster was phased out. Your feet. That's that does not look like a comfortable way to sit down. Little savey save. Those were almost done. Is there items or anything in this room? I don't think that there is. Pretty sure there's a a bunch of nothing in here. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Who could have done this? 
Now you're gonna meet him real soon. I don't like the looks of this. I doubt they're here to help. Hmm. All right. Final boss time. Subjects on site. It's time. Initiate the Tvia field test. Sir. where my brother and I like to play. Cool. Now mind moving aside. <laughs> cool. Can I pass? Let's take a different tack. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. True. Now, let the games begin. What's with this company? They have a freaks only policy? Yes. Those freaks don't push over. Uh, no weaknesses, immune to all status effects, don't know how to fuck with this shit. He's got a million and a half abilities. Oh! 
sure. Summon. Come on out. Guy has a straight jacket for his face. That's how crazy he is. Put you into this phase before uh, Ramu this is bad. did his shit. Let's get out of here. I don't think we're done yet. Please no. Ow! Oh, he shot me a lot of bullets. Good hit. Proud of you. What are you doing? Offer up your lives, your very souls to me. You want to heal up a bit? We could finish increasing his stagger. Just saying. Might as well. No, no, don't do that. Did not do nearly as much as I hoped it would. Darkness knows no limits. Ow. 
You're almost dead. I don't suppose you just feel like finished dying. That'd be great. Thanks for that. Oh shit, that sucked. Oh god, that sucked too. Fuck, god, I didn't get a chance to fucking get up. Can we fucking stop for a second with this shit? Please let them just finish him. It did. Okay. Yes. Yes. I must know more of this feeling of pain of death. Now let's finish this. Don't gotta tell me twice. spoil the moment but we should probably get going but i'm so tired i could carry you you win sheesh Jesus Christ. Fuck. Jesus Christ.
can do a voice actor. Look at that burb. Don't think I can do this alone. The amazing Yuffie wants you. Join her team and the sky's the limit. Can I skip this and then get the scene that's right after it? Yes. No. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. I'll gr I'll just grab it real quick. I wasn't sure where it'd put it, so. Uh, YouTube. Do 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 do. Hang on a second. Uh, FF seven intermission post credit scene. Four K. I think it was end credits. Yeah, I, I was hoping I could skip the credits <laughs> and then it would show up afterwards. That is not what happened. It just skipped the whole fucking scene. So we'll just we'll just play it here. It's fine. Hey, Barrett, were you really walking the whole way? Yep. <sighs> Calm's still pretty far, though, isn't it? Another full day, give or take. Question. When my mom says a full day, she means from the time you get up in the morning till the time you go to bed. But for me, it means from the time you get up in the morning all the way through till the time you get up the next morning. So, which is it for you? Gotta go with Elmira on that one. <sighs> That's a relief. Is it, though? <laughs> Cloud, bet you've had to hoof it from sunup to sundown tons of times. This is all just same old, same old, right? That's right. But even so, we're all gonna need to stop and rest. Especially you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, marching into the unknown ain't easy, but don't worry, because I'm here to lead the way. <laughs> That's comforting. Of course it is. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's stop here for a minute. Leader's orders. Now breathe in that fresh air. Oh. Huh? Actually, scratch that. I saw it too, Athena. Let's, uh, save it for later. When we're not so close to Midgar. Guess this is goodbye, City of Mako. Like this? Yep, just like that. Cool. <laughs> Barrett's tired. <laughs> no way! A car!
Oh man, it doesn't look like it's gonna stop for the pretty girls. Just throw the six foot ten guy <laughs> out in front of the street. <laughs> A choke about I love you! What is it with these damn birds? Uh, uh, sorry about that. No need to apologize, man. He says, I love you. Look at that. Where's a roof when you need one? Gonna be okay? Should be, but weird. My stomach's in knots. That's its way of telling you it's hungry. Let's move! <sighs> That's still a decent walk to calm. Like, I realize he dropped him off at, like, the, the crossroads. Oh, hang on. I'll shut the fuck up. This is important. It's been a while, huh? Long time no see. How you been? Listen. Hey. Uh, Our sweet puppy boy. Uh, I'm back. So that's the uh, the scene that we we missed because I was like, can I just skip the credits? And they're like, fucking no, you dumb shit. How dare you even fucking try that? And I'm like, oh, apologies. So much following of the end of remake. Uh, we don't know what that means necessarily under the current circumstances, right? Like we don't know. We don't know, right? It could mean so many things. And I'm sure there are people that know now, but I don't. But the question is, is like, what, what timeline is Zach in? Is it one timeline? Is it two? I feel like a lot of what we're seeing there is wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Yes, exactly. That's a lot of what we're seeing there. It also looks like Zach is arriving right after something to do with an incident at Midgar, right? Like Athena said, he's on the new timeline, and I feel like Zack has arrived in a adjacent or current timeline right during or after some of the events that happened in Midgar, whether it's one of the Mako reactors being blown up or the actual, like, fucking hollabaloo that happened right at the end of Remake, or, you know, the plate dropping or whatever, because I think most of those people that are in the church are refugees from, like, the Sector 7 plate dropping, right? Um, or one of the reactors blowing up or something like that. And I'm really curious to see where Zack's story goes, because depending on how the timeline shit works out, he could be, we're chasing Sephiroth and he's chasing us, or... Maybe we don't exist at all for him and he's off on his own journey. Um, I do believe Zack is playable in Rebirth in some capacity. I know that Sephiroth is playable because we have the Nibelheim flashback 
uh, and you do get to play as Sephiroth, which is fucking sick as shit, right? Um, but yeah, so contributing back to the previous shit of Zack's not supposed to ever make it back to Midgar. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, so I don't know what that means. It could mean a whole bunch of things. Oh. And we get to find out now. So yeah, we're not gonna open it tonight, but we got uh, we got the we got the uh, the box to open. We'll probably open that on Sunday. Uh, Sunday will probably be a proper production day, and uh, we're prob if I can get it the last couple of things finished, we're probably actually going to finish setting. We're actually probably going to run a stream from the secondary setup and see how that goes on Sunday. Whew. All right. What a journey. And we're just getting started. Technically, like realistically, we're just getting started. We finished the intro and now we get to go through like a hundred hours of rebirth the game's fucking massive fuck uh yeah so anyway very much looking forward to that uh i know that a lot of the characters that we got that are new characters like nio and uh, kyrie and stuff um transfer from remake into rebirth uh and it'll be cool to see what all that means that was just the tutorial levels yeah you're right 40 hours of tutorial, like 43 hours of tutorial. And now we get into the main game. And I do actually, like as much as a meme of that is, I do think that that is kind of the way that this is going to shake out and play out. I wholly expect that when the trilogy is finished, the one that people go back to play the most is going to be Rebirth. Because I don't think it'll be Remake. And I don't think it'll be part three because I think part three is going to be a little bit more linear. It's going to be wrapping stuff up. It's going to be a little bit more wonky. Um, and I think the open world, all of the activities and stuff that you can do is going to be in Rebirth. And the stuff that people want to go back and enjoy and play in the future. I think it's going to be the one that people want to re replay and re-enjoy much. And, you know, we've made this comparison before about how like a lot of there have been a lot of trilogies and games that have tried to copy the Star Wars trilogy of the first entry is we introduce everybody. The second entry is the grand like adventure and it ends at a low point so that the uh, the third entry is them coming back and then, you know, leading to the final triumph in terms of the way that the Star Wars trilogy went. And I think that's how we're gonna see the remake trilogy go because that sequence of storytelling is just like guaranteed success in storytelling, which is why it's used over and over and over again now. There's an actual name for it. I forget what it's called, but there's an actual name for what I'm describing. Um, and much like how a lot of people, their favorite um, uh, Star Wars film is the empire strikes back uh i think that a lot of people their favorite entry in the remake trilogy is going to be rebirth as well but we'll find out for ourselves i'm sure that i'm probably going to feel that way especially because a lot of the things that i spent a lot of time on in the original game are going to be in rebirth things like chocobo racing and mini games at gold saucer and stuff like that like there's a bunch of of time wasters that are just really fun to sink your teeth into um but we'll see we'll see but so that concludes um there's a couple of things that we could go back and do of course they would like there's a bonus fight against bahamut in remake uh we just saw vice which is part of the deep ground and there's a bonus fight against him in remake we're not gonna bother with those because uh i suck <laughs> so i don't feel like we're gonna make it very far if we try to do that but you know maybe sometime in the future especially now that i have a completed save on my playstation 5 because one of the problems with this whole thing was that we played remake originally on my jank as shit playstation 4 right and you there technically was a way to move your save forward but it was so fucking janky oh my god the you like had to have your ps4 and your ps5 set up at the same time and you needed to like go through this weird fucking approval process on the playstation 4 and then like a new approval process on the playstation just to transfer a save file 
Like it, it, it was like 28 steps and took like four hours. And I was like, I ain't fucking doing that. Uh, but so, you know, we have a save now. So if we ever wanted to go back and like play through hard mode for Final Fantasy VII Remake or play through, like try some of those bonus fights, we could or pr go through the, the Fort Condor game, whatever. We have full access to that stuff now. Oh, hang on. Make sure the mic doesn't fall over. Okay. Ugh. All right. So here's the thing, right? I'm not even going to try to do it the way that Scarlet did it. One, we don't actually see her stand up. But I don't have a dress on, so I'm going to have the full ability to, like, we weave my legs and stuff. Because Scarlet was having to sit like this because her dress goes down to here, right? I hope that you can hear me. Um, so her dress went down to here because while she's there, holy shit, how the fuck was she even sitting? I can't, I can't even sit up straight. <laughs> she, was, she was sitting side saddle <laughs> with her, her legs off. <laughs> anyway, so she's like this. And then, uh oh, God. she's got her hands tied behind her back. <laughs> How the fuck did she stand up? <laughs> Just lay on my face. I don't even know if I fucking can, dog. Hang on. Hang on, I'm already tired. Maybe if I use my hands a little bit, but keep them back there. Oh my god. If I can... Hey, uh... <laughs> no, I, I can't even fucking do it. Well, I tried. <laughs> Scarlet's just better than me. She was also wearing heels, too. As a note, <laughs> she was also wearing heels. Fucking goddess. Anyway, that all said and done now. Now that I'm all nice and tired. Um, who's streaming right now? Oh, practically no one. Let's see if there's anyone streaming. Whew. Remake that we can go visit. That person is streaming Rebirth. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Ew. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche. Okay, we're gonna go over here. <sighs> if you want to get the bonus stuff for Rebirth, skip every cutscene, save a file, quit. Or you can get the bonus content by having a save after you complete chapter one of Rebirth. Wait. Save of the demo, I mean. Oh, okay. Sure, I could do that. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I can totally do that. Okay. All right. Everyone, these are my socials. I will not be live tomorrow, but I believe the incredible Athena Latina should be live tomorrow. And I will be over on their channel. I don't know what we're playing yet, but we should be over there. Otherwise, uh, I will be live again on Sunday. This is the raid message, everybody. If you're not a subscriber, you can unlock that raid swan by spending 100 channel points. It'll be available to you for the next 24 hours, and you can use it on other people's channels, which means that you can use it on the raid. 
We're gonna go visit the underleveled gamers. They are currently streaming Final Fantasy VII Remake doing what we did, which is recapping the story before they go to rebirth. So we're gonna go wish them well and bounce our way on out of here. <sighs> All right. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you very, very much. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye. <laughs>